Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. I just got back from running errands and I had an apple, very, very, very old apple. But um, I wanted to do a vlog to show you how I'm getting ready to uh, effectively start living from my place and do my social distancing. So for those of you who are not aware, a couple of days ago the UK Prime Minister announced that uh, people needed to do a bit more about the COVID-19 to, to um, stop the further spread. Uh, I'm not particularly worried about the disease itself because I, I happen to know a bit more about the mechanic, biomechanics of it, how it affects your body, etc., etc. So I'm not worried for myself, but uh, because I live in Belgravia, I happen to be only uh, a few minutes away from the Royal Hospital Chelsea. That's where the old uh, pensioners live, and the average age there is very, very, very high. So these are um, a very at-risk population. So it is almost a community duty for me to not catch the disease because I don't want to pass it on. So um, at my job, we have decided that we will all be working from home for a week. All of my colleagues who were abroad were brought back in and will be in self-isolation for about a week before resuming work and then they have the option to either work from home or work from the office but then we all decided we will avoid uh, rush hour so we're not doing that and we will also um, uh, try to work as much as possible remotely and avoid meetings so I was in that uh, client project on site in the West Midlands if you remember my previous vlog I had showed you how I packed and everything um, well, I got back yesterday night, I was summoned back into London. I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm very happy to be back. And while everybody's complaining about how much they, they, they have to, they're getting cabin fever because they're not getting out. For me, this is almost uh, perfection because I am such an introvert and I love doing things by myself. So yesterday was a bit tough because I was extremely, extremely tired. And I'm also mentally exhausted from all the coverage on the on the on that pandemic. So I decided to stop looking at stuff around this and just live my life. And uh, yesterday I tried to sleep a little bit more because my project is pretty intense. I have now uh, today Saturday and I have started preparing around. So I have all my little plans. You can see over there. Um, I like the fact that now I no longer have a lot of the fresh flowers that are coming. Uh, I think um, it takes more effort for me to just try to tend to my plants. So instead what I did is that uh, one, I cancelled my flower subscription about a month ago and I don't really regret it. If I, if I want to get flowers, I'll probably get some daffodils or something that is seasonal so I don't need to have a, a vase all the time and then every now and then that I go out I just buy a few of these so I did get some of these pots and I'm going to be to pot these little plants later on in the day uh, you guys have already oopsie sorry you guys have already seen my little cacti I absolutely love them especially this one that looks like Mickey Mouse and then I have this little watering can and it has my initials so I really like it and I was just cleaning my bag um, my bag is a complete mess it has all kinds of stuff in it but when I was at, uh, at the client site I did take my precautions so I had been taking some zinc tablets these are extreme uh, very highly concentrated zinc lozenges um, and it's meant to improve your immune system so whenever you have been around somebody who's sick or you think you're about to get sick it's really important to to boost your immune system so I usually whenever I start feeling a sore throat or I have been next to one of those very unhygienic people who are coughing in the in the tube or whatever I pop one of these and if I feel an illness coming I'll have one every three hours or so I also had this VIX first defense it's a nose spray that I put before I go out and it helps coat your your um, um, inner lining of the nose so that you don't really uh, get a lot of germs evolve uh, like breathing in there so I had that, my sister gave me this many months ago, I'm almost out of it, so I did go and buy another one, that's the, my backup. This is my antiviral hand foam, it lasts up to 8 hours uh, protection and it doesn't have alcohol. I, I got this after my foot surgery 
and um, one of my mentees was looking for something similar so I I advised her to get it now if you go to any boots or any supermarket everything is out everything is out of stock I'm not sure why people are stocking up that much because you want anybody to to have a little bit of these things otherwise you keep dousing yourself in that and then everybody else gets sick but honestly I just wash my hands a lot because I, I used to have OCD as a child uh, it is a habit that um, I didn't really have to develop now so I anyway wash my hands a lot and it's quite interesting to notice when I go out to see just still how many people are still coughing openly in the street in the train um, it's such a lack of education um, and when I say education, it's in the moral sense of tarbiya, uh, not education as in where you went to school, etc. So I, I even yesterday in the train, I noticed a lot of people were still coughing openly. That's something that I have noticed here in the in the UK that everybody does. Uh, whereas many many years ago, uh, I had learned uh, when I when I used to spend a lot of time in the US to always cough in your elbow. But it didn't catch in here for some reason. And it's weird that so many people only now notice how, how often they need to wash their hands and, and etc. So the OCD part of me is very, very um, relieved, only today actually, to, if I'm being honest, about people finally starting to embrace basic hygiene. But even with that, I have seen some appalling things in the, in, in the street, so yeah you'd hope people would do that also with influenza but you know because it's it comes every year and uh, people don't care that it's equally uh, aggressive and that it's you equally have a, a role in your community to prevent uh, vulnerable populations from getting it but people don't seem to care about it so i just think in my head i have this visual of uh, this uh, pandemic re coming back every year and once it becomes part of the normal uh, winter kind of winter diseases, you know, the flu, norovirus and all of that kind of thing. And once you have a vaccine for it, you will again have a rerun of people who go like, oh no, I'm not going to get the COVID-19 vi uh, vaccine because it makes me sick. You know, kind of like the same thing that in my office we get to have a, a free flu vaccine and only me and another colleague decided to do it because we wanted to make sure that we don't pass it on to other people, but nobody else got the flu shot. So I can definitely see such a situation happening. One of the ways I'm getting ready is that I have uh, upgraded my internet. So now I have fast fiber. It didn't cost much more, but I'm going, because I'm going to be working extensively from, from home, I'm going to install this router. My fiber is activated, so probably as of Monday, I should be able to work well. I have a little bit of bread. What else am I doing? So I went to, where do I put you guys? I put you here. So I went to Flying Tiger. I got a yoga block. So what I have decided to do is that, um, anyway, I wasn't working out, which is on me. I cannot blame my surgery anymore because I'm fully recovered. Uh, but for in order for me to get full range of motion in my foot, I definitely need to exercise. And I haven't been doing it. So the fact of being at home means that I can actually schedule my time such that I do have uh, a workout um, session. So I bought this yoga block. And then I got some hair elastics. Let's just do a haul. Because I have run out of all my hair elastics, which is quite interesting. It's funny how that always happens around the same time. I'm putting you here because I just think it's easier to show you, yeah? And um, I got, um, let's show you, planters because I realized that they also sell tiny, tiny cacti. So I'm going to have um, these uh, bits around the house. And actually, when you look at the price, it's a lot cheaper than the flowers that I was getting every two weeks. So that's nice. I got... A couple vases because I have been looking for these forever and I wasn't able to find them I eventually got the ones that you see at the around the, the, the entrance but I want to have these uh, these planters uh, you know I'll just keep them in case I get any more plants or anything like that and if I have a, a little flowers or something like this 
Then I went to Barcore and I bought one of their ball, one of their inflatable balls, and it comes with a small pump. And that's something that I'm going to use in the next days when I work out. And I got a couple uh, exercise bands. I've never used an exercise band, but I just think uh, it's something that is part of the yoga uh, practice, the the bar practice. This it's Monday. Please come back tomorrow. So I'm going to have it actually. Um, I'm going to set up my entire home office here, and I'm also once this whole uh, working from home etc. changes, I'm going to take it to my office. It was only one pound, but it made me smile, but, so I decided to have it. And then I got a couple of dumbbells, one kilogram. I don't need to bulk up, I just need to actually uh, really bolster my immune system. This is the only, I would think, this and the next thing that I show you is the only frivolous thing that I got. But these are small mannequins. I have a, I have a drawing, uh, one of those drawing mannequins, right? And I have it just in unsanded wood. But these are the colors that I actually have running in my living room. And so what I decided to do, again, as part of me working from home and really embracing this whole social distancing, is that I also want to, to go back to drawing and painting. So I want to dedicate a little bit of time for that. So I got these. I will first start by working again on the geometric bits, etc. But I want to have these as um, uh, guidance for when I go back to drawing um, people. So you see here is my original mannequin. And then I'm going to have these in here. I'm going to probably make a sort of a, a scene or something. But you'd notice that these are the colors that I have also in my carpet. If you look at my carpet here, it's the colors that I have there, you see. So it is definitely a common thing with my with my uh, apartment. I'm going and then I'm going to show you the last thing that I got, which is these salt and pepper shakers. Uh, they were also inexpensive, but then I got a few of these because when I set my table, these are just spice grinders, so you can put whatever you want in there, right? Uh, but when I set my table and I invite guests, I like to have. Ideally, I would have a salt and pepper shaker um, for every guest but because I didn't want to have too many I actually got got three of each so one for salt one for pepper and I have that like that and so every pair we will share because typically whenever I host a dinner I host it in I have a big table actually that is right behind my sofa and I install it just like that in long way and it's six people actually and it's just a perfect setup like I love hosting and I love uh, when I host I do it really properly I have a proper Moroccan feast and uh, I like to set the table a certain way it's something that I have enjoyed since I was a child and definitely something that brings me joy so I'm very happy with all of this because I still I still don't feel like I went overboard uh, I still didn't buy anything from my no buy category, so I didn't buy any any like skincare or makeup or anything like that. I bought one face cream. Let me show you. I bought one face cream to because I ran out of moisturizer actually. Remember when I was showing you my packing video, I said that typically I use the Aesop mouthwash and I refill it. This one is essentially gone. So when I was in West Midlands, because I went to two different boots in London, I couldn't find them. When I was in West Midlands, I went to a massive boot and I found it. So I ended up getting this. So that one is uh, still okay with the no buy because it replaces the one that is done. The Aesop one, I will finish it uh, today. And it's quite, um, it's quite nice, but it's also 23 pounds for 500 ml. This is also very expensive, it's very premium, but it's only eight pounds. It's organic, it doesn't have alcohol. This whole bottle is recyclable because it's aluminum. So I think it's an it's a nice alternative when I want to, to change from the Aesop one. Uh, this morning I started using my Caudalie uh, foaming cleanser. I did not buy it, this is something that I had in my backup, but I am running low on quite a few things. I did buy one deodorant because I'm, I'm getting rid of another one and what else yeah that's what I wanted to show you and I bought this La Roche Posay Hydrafaz because I ran out of my moisturizer so 
no buy is still going on although i just showed you a couple of things uh from um, from flying tiger etc these are more um part of the self-care and part of making sure that i don't really go crazy so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to prepare something for my lunch and then i'm going to pot all of my plants right so i think now i'm ready for this i'm going to just unpack some of the things that i have i have already unpacked my suitcase from yesterday repacked it for whenever i travel but actually i don't think i'm going to travel anytime soon i was meant to go to helsinki in april but that's cancelled so probably just staying around here then i'm going to clean my apartment a bit i think i have been i have been really good at keeping it tidy but i think uh when i stay home for many many days i'm not sure i think either it's going to become messy because i'm here spending all my time here or it's going to be tidy because i have in during my breaks the time to just tidy up as i go but we'll see about that right now i'm really tired because in the past days i haven't been sleeping well because the way uh, media has been sensationalizing the the whole COVID-19 and how everybody's talking about it it was in the news it kind of uh, triggered my OCD again and so I was because during the day I'm so busy working very very intense projects at night I wouldn't sleep because that's when actually I have the time to to freak out so now I'm that I'm back home I'm happy because I don't have a TV at home whereas it was blasting at the client side I don't have a TV at home I get to choose what I what I look at I'm also going to to call a counselor because my I, I talked to my work and they said oh, obviously if you don't feel okay you need to talk to somebody so they provided a counselor so I'm going to try to reach to them next week sometime and yeah I also lost obviously a bit of weight because when I stress I tend to lose a bit of weight but now that I'm home, I'm going to be much, much better and I'm going to get my cheeks again because I don't like this look. But yeah, that is it for today. It's the next day and this is my home office setup. I'm obviously going to remove all of that stuff, but <clears throat> I have my little sign. And then these are all the essentials. I have a hand cream, uh, a face mist uh, as a moisturizer. I tend to smudge my glasses a lot, so this isn't a glasses cleaner. It's a bit more, uh, let's say, environmentally friendly than buying the disposable wipes. This is a mild liner, a pen, and then two very uh, vivid brush liners. Uh, these are like brush pens. You can use them for brush littering or for writing or for drawing, whatever. <clears throat> Sorry about my raspy voice. It's always like that when I have just woken up. I store these upside down because they, they have the, the, the same uh, shape. This is Margaret Dubs Cuticle Cream. I'm very bad about treating my cuticles. So hopefully a week or two or three or maybe a month of working from home will do wonders to my cuticles. And then the last thing is my Ritalin. Uh, and that's something that I have to take as a top up because otherwise <clears throat> my ADD just gets worse in the afternoon it's called a concerta crash then we have my glasses these are to block blue light uh, my computer some of the kids at work stuck this about a year ago or something like that and I never bothered to remove it because it would have a lot of sticky residue but that's my computer from work uh, I always work with a mouse and I have my this is my notebook with all the projects that I work on you typically every every tab is a project or topic that I'm working on and then the black ones are just moleskin notebooks for my mentees so for my former mentees everybody that I mentor actually every, I meet them or call them once a week at least and we usually have a, a discussion topic it can be about their goals it can be about a specific issue they're facing etc but I like to keep a separate book for each one of my of my mentees. I only have two that are official. But now that I've just explained this to you guys, I think I need to get one for my unofficial ones. <laughs> so I will probably have four or five of these. I like that because whenever you talk to a person, you can quickly flip through their stuff. You could use OneNote, but I don't. I'm not really a big fan of that. So this would be the setup when I'm working. 
but this is still I don't I still want to keep the separation between work and and um, non work. So when I'm not working, all of this just moves to to the side, and I will put it in here where my bag also sits. I need to now um, kind of organize my living room, but yesterday I planted my little cacti. That's what they look like. I think they're very cute. I still I'm thinking about where I want to put these because I want to do a small composition of them, but I just don't know. I moved a vase in here because I thought that there was a bit too much foliage around there because of all the plants that I have. These are some very old books that I bought when I was in Norwich. So my best friend in the UK is actually from Norwich and um, he went there for a weekend. So I went along and that's actually not a weekend. It was just a few hours a day. So I spent a Saturday there, but it's a small city. You can cover all of it. Um, and then when we were walking, we saw a bookstore. So I bought these. I think they're so cute. I still need to arrange the situation here for my uh, magazines. I'm thinking of buying a magazine rack. And then in the, I'm going to move my little drawing easel somewhere maybe over there. My plants here are fine. This is fine. I think the flowers dried up beautifully so I can have this as uh, a still life or what you would call nature morte. Uh, in, in, in painting uh, uh, jargon. These two vases, I decided to keep them in the back as a, as a backup. And then yesterday I potted as, as well as I could my three seconds that I had. I just need to give this a clean wipe. And that is it. So now I just need to organize this a little bit more, move a few things. Uh, maybe I'll try today to have one first session of workout. We'll see how that goes. I don't want to do anything intense, so yeah. I have organized this shelf. Nothing much happened. Uh, I don't think you could tell the difference, but I can. So what is different here is that now I have uh, full boxes of these things that I get from Morocco. Um, probably because there are no trips from Morocco in the future. Maybe this will disappear in a month or two. Then in the back here, I have all of my teas, my loose leaf teas, a couple things that I take when I travel. These are all my supplements that I take. I have reorganized my medicine box and also um, I made this section, which is like just for cold and flu because it is still a uh, high season. So it has my... Um, uh, strepsils, these are zinc tablets, microleaf, then stuff for the nose, the thing that I showed you earlier to protect uh, your immune system, and then uh, just some Nurofen. I only take Nurofen, I don't use anything else. For cold and, flu. and then I have here, and then here I just have a paper from my facialist, Natalia, because she also does... Um, uh, what is it called? A natural healthcare or whatever. And she does also acupuncture. So she did acupuncture last time on me. But then she also said these are the things that I should be taking. I kind of had almost everything. Um, but she recommends much higher dosage than what I initially thought. Um, the only thing I had to add was chromium uh, to regulate blood sugar. But yeah, I just keep that there as a reminder. So I decided to switch my plants and I changed the location of my little men. So I put them over there because I didn't want this to be crowded. And then I moved the small uh, cacti there. This table still looks a bit crowded so I need to do something about it. Because I now have this new um, talk talk broadband thing, I decided that I need to go and recycle the old router plus one that I had in the apartment plus another electrical appliance. And then for the bathroom, I have finally finished using stuff from the basket. So before I had these three little baskets actually under there because I didn't have space to store anything in here, but I kind of organized it a little bit more. So now I have more space and I have also organized this a little bit more. I don't think you can tell the difference, 
but I added a couple things in here from my sample drawer and I have put all my uh, towels up there but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to my storage unit in maybe a couple of days and try to get a, some stuff from there so I'm very happy about that and the last update from my room is that I have finally found hangers that actually are wide enough for my door because my door is five centimeters and most hangers are typically four so I found these at Flying Tiger Flying Tiger doesn't have this stuff uh, a lot of the time so I'm going to go some time today and get a few more I want to have one more of these so that I have my jacket with its with its um, scarf and then I have another one uh, just as a, as a backup and then I also want to get a larger one that I can put here this is in my kitchen so initially I would put it back there so that it's hidden by this thing but whenever I have guests then they can just hang their coats I will turn it around and then they can hang their coats and then I'll get another one for the bathroom hey guys so today was Monday there's a doggy out there I did not sleep yesterday I think it's the all the negative communication has been got, getting to me but I really could not sleep until 4 a.m. and then I had to wake up early but then I spent the day in nature I really enjoyed it although it's a Monday I did not work because I had the day off booked from many many a long time ago but it's not like I could do much what's with that dog um, Unfortunately, some people from work contacted me because they assumed I was working. One of them only realized that I wasn't working and then he said, oh, can we have a meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. so I discuss some stuff with you. And I'm like, yeah, but he wants me to prepare stuff and I just don't feel like it. Because if I'm not working today and I need to prepare some work for him for 8 a.m., that means I need to wake up at 6 and work for a couple of hours. And it's just his lack of planning is not my emergency. So I hate when people do that. But fine. I had just had dinner. I had a very spicy, very very spicy ginger, ginger uh, soup. That's why my my nose is runny. I always do this. Like I have things with ginger or with spice or with mustard, and I always end up crying. I I think I overestimate my capacity when it comes to handling spicy food. I always always do this. But yeah, I don't seem to learn. But I like it. A ginger is good for you. Oh, doggy, stop. Um, I'm going to watch one episode of RuPaul. And then I'm going to set my home office. So I have everything here. I got this little timer because I'm going to use the Pomodoro technique. So I'm going to be working in 45 minutes and then have breaks for 15 minutes. And my breaks are going to be productive. So it's not going to be breaks while I'm sat at my computer. It will be breaks around the house, you know clean a few things I think my place is really really clean I have the feeling that this whole uh, self quarantine slash work from home is going to make my house just amazing because every time I'm bored I just organize some stuff so when I have good lighting tomorrow and after I finish a few meetings I have four or five hours of meeting tomorrow by Skype I will let you know how it goes day one good morning guys I'm stuck in a zinc tablet that's why I sound a bit weird it's day two of my working from home. As I said, Monday was off. I went in nature. Tuesday was my first work from home. It was hell. I started at 8 a.m. with a call and I was in calls all day. I did four or five hours of Skype meetings. Then I had some electricians that came for the annual, not every five years, electrical wires check on my apartment. And they accidentally knocked down my kitchen socket. As I said, oh, that's my computer. So there was a bit of drama, but I have my internet back and everything. Today is Wednesday and it's the second day of me working from home. Again, I checked my emails, I made my coffee, had a muffin. I haven't really stocked up on food or anything. I have a delivery from Ocado coming on Friday morning at 8. And there have been a lot of virtual queues where you have to wait for an hour or so until it's your turn to edit your order but because I already had a time slot I just go and edit my order every every now and then I did not really plan on having on stockpiling anything but I do have lots of lasagnas because I was craving that okay I got an email and things like that 
and um, I didn't stock up on, on toilet paper unlike some people because I think it's fine. I don't know why dogs always do this, but yeah. And then I, the only thing I stocked up on, and I should be clear about that, is feminine pads because it's a matter of feminine hygiene, so I don't mess with that. Oh my god, the doglet. Um, yeah, so this is my setup. That's where I'm working. No, not on the sofa. Here, here. So that's my computer. That's my little, it's Monday sign. Um, I have here all kinds of things. I have been moisturizing my nails a lot more because um, I think my nails were a bit sensitive. Also, I realized that I go through soap like crazy. Because, again, as I said uh, in a few videos earlier, I, I am obsessive compulsive when I wash my hands. And it's always been the case since I was a child. But, because most of the time I'm at work, I don't notice. I have this rhythm of going every hour to get tea and I wash my hands. And then, that, I do that every single hour because I work 55 minutes and have a five, five minute break. And then, I didn't realize how often and how like regular it was until I stayed home because I'm halfway through my <laughs> my uh, soap bottle but again as I said because I'm OCD about it I have lots of backups of soap but that's always been the case it's one of those things where I didn't even need to go and think about buying it so yeah uh, I did talk about uh, talking to a counselor because of my OCD relapse, but I ended up not doing it. I might do that on Friday. I will let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, I just have a lot of work. It's, work doesn't stop just because you're working from home. So, yeah, but quite a lot of energy. Very happy about this. I'm going to do some stretching in my, during my lunchtime. But for now, I need to plan the day because I have a morning meeting with my team that is still based in the West Midlands morning i just woke up i need to go wash my face but i'm making breakfast and i'm making this um, milk it's whole milk and coffee it just looks so beautiful in the pan so yeah i'm gonna go wash my face and um, get ready get dressed have a shower all of that stuff um it's been over a week that my phone does not receive calls and i realized that so many people have been trying to reach me it's very annoying when you're stuck working from home, but uh, I guess we'll find a way to make it work. So the IT guy in my office raised a ticket with Vodafone because we tried every other thing and nothing worked. So hopefully this would get solved in by the end of this week. I really hope that because I don't want to be cut from the world. Right, let me turn this off and I'll go get ready. Good morning, it's Friday, the last day from that first week of working from home. I am actually exhausted. It's not even 8 a.m. and I have been working for already an hour. Yesterday I finished at 9.30 p.m. So it's been quite intense and that's something that I'm going to learn uh, to control because if we continue doing this all the way through April, I probably will not survive just because I have been working so much. Today I am back to back from 8 a.m. I'm calling into a call in two minutes. 8 a.m. until uh, 5.30 p.m. Back to back meetings. So I didn't even have breakfast. I'll use these next two minutes to just get something from the fridge and eat while doing the very first meeting. Uh, it's over Skype, but I will not be using video. Also, I expect a massive food delivery because honestly, my fridge is depressing let me show you so this is my fridge i have jams that i don't really use in some relish these are sauces that i typically don't eat so whenever i get them from restaurants or whatever i just put them here because some other people eat that my sister eats this and this i can't eat mayonnaise and i don't eat ketchup these are some pickled uh, lemons and then i have my uh, i always have tonic because i i need the Queenine or whatever that thing is called in English. It helps me sleep. Have some eggs. This is all I need to toss it. This is old fish, but I didn't want to toss it now until I take out the trash because it's going to stink up. This is an old cake that my sister brought. My last bit of cheese, last little bits of olives, and a very old avocado. Everything else is just empty. 
Um, I have a bit of milk. Again, I always drink tonic water. And this is some old yogurt that I'm still going to have. I, I'm fine with having older yogurt. I don't really mind. Uh, I don't get sick from it. So yeah, but that's essentially all I have. I don't have anything to eat in my fridge, not even bread. So uh, I have a delivery coming in between 8 and 9 a.m. from Ocado. It was a struggle to get that, but at least I have that. So now I need to get to work. Hey guys, I thought I would close this vlog of staying at home to get work done. Um, so that's Friday evening. I'm extremely tired. I've had so many calls, so many meetings. Um, I also caught up with my mentees. I made sure that I had video check-ins with them because, you know, some of them haven't haven't seen uh, or talked to anyone in, in many, many days because obviously we have all been um, staying at home even though the government did not really make it very clear, etc. If you don't need to go out, you don't go out, right? So I had everything that I needed to get delivered, delivered. Some things are delayed, but it's fine. But um, I wouldn't say I'm getting cabin fever or anything like that. I'm actually fine with staying at home because I have so many old people around me. I just don't want them to, to get to the point when somebody's been living for 80, 90 years and they're not even able to, to go out or get a human interaction. So... Yeah, one of my friends actually recently bought their grandparents uh, their first iPhone and taught them how to FaceTime. A human touch is very important, but I also wanted to just point out the fact that I am pretty okay with this because I am in a privileged situation to be able to carry on my work from my computer, although it's been a lot of work and I cannot wait for the weekend. A lot of people who are hourly workers have to continue working uh, while being scared. And personally, I'm not. But it's because, again, my apartment is clean. I I open the window every now and then, but that's about it. I don't have any human interaction. Even for the delivery people who come and bring stuff, I instruct them to open the to to, to, to um, push the buzzer. They leave the stuff, I go and I take it. So I'm not exposing them at all or, or being exposed uh, either way because I'm not sick or anything. Uh, but yeah, these delivery guys still have to continue doing this. Uh, the people packing the stuff that we get still have to do this. I understand that it's very difficult for everyone, but some people have it harder than others. And such crises just highlight the inequalities a lot more because hourly, a lot of hourly workers have to go. A lot of people with small businesses see them just die. People who have the little food trucks, uh, people who tend to have small small businesses that have a, a rely on heavy footfall and things like that, they're all going to just go away. So while I usually don't spend a lot of money, I have been trying to spend money as much as possible on smaller businesses and things like that. Uh, like small UK based businesses not big corporations in the hope that the additional income would help um, for people who have the little food trucks and things like that it's extremely sad but I can't really help my friend in another city actually went to one of these uh, because they don't have a lockdown they don't have cases or anything he went to one of these guys and um, got something from him paid him in cash told him to keep the change but it's going to be a very, very, very rough time for people who are more economically fragile. And so I really hope all of this ends up well. As I said, I'm completely fine with working from home for the next several weeks or as long as it takes to avoid uh, furthering the spread. And my heart goes to the people who actually don't have that option. Um, so yeah. I'm going to stop the vlog here and I'm going to edit it and I will post it on Saturday so you will be watching this uh, the following day. Alright, stay safe.